Hi, I hope everyone is doing well. In this series, I am going to discuss the basics of DC transient analysis as applied to series RL, series RC, and series RLC circuits. Before a circuit attains its steady state, the circuit passes through a transition period in which the currents and voltages are not recurring periodic functions of time. The period required for the currents and voltages to adjust themselves to their steady state is called the transient period. During transient periods, the mathematical expression of the currents and voltages contain two significant terms, transient and steady state. The transient terms are usually of short duration and damped out by certain damping factors which depend upon the circuit parameters. Now in general, when the switch is closed or opened in a circuit, or if any voltage source is suddenly induced, transient condition exists in the circuit. The simplest transient is the one that occurs when a constant voltage V is suddenly applied to a series RL circuit in which no current flows at time equal to zero. By KVL, we can see that the voltage supply is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across the resistor and the inductor. Expressing these voltage drops as a function of time, we know that the voltage across the resistor is equal to the product of the current flowing through it multiplied by its resistance, while the voltage across the inductor is equivalent to the product of its inductance and the rate of the current with respect to time. The equation becomes VDC equals IR plus LDI over DT. Rearranging this equation and writing it down as a standard form of a linear differential equation with the current as the dependent variable, we can find the particular solution of the current I of T equals VDC over R times the quantity 1 minus exponential negative R over L times T with the initial conditions I of 0 equal to 0. This is the current response in a series RL circuit in which the VDC over R is the steady state component and VDC over R exponential negative R over L times T is called the transient component. Now from this equation, as the value of time increases, the behavior of the current is generally represented by this graph. Now another important parameter in transient analysis is what we call time constant. It is a measure of the rate at which the current builds up to its steady state value. That is when the current reaches to 63.2% of its steady state value and it is given by the formula L over R. Example, a series RL circuit is energized with 24 volts DC at time equal to zero. If R is equal to 10 ohms and L equal to 1 Henry, determine the following. For letter A, the current at any time T is given by the formula I of T equals V over R times 1 minus exponential negative R over LT. Now substitute the values we have 24 volts over 10 times 1 minus exponential negative 10 ohms over 1 Henry multiplied by time. Our final answer for letter A is equivalent to 2.4 quantity 1 minus exponential negative 10 T. If you want to visualize this equation, it is more or less represented by this graph. Take note that while the current is increasing during the transient period, there will come a point in time where the current will be fixed at 2.4 amperes. Remember that the given circuit is a series connection of R and L whose supply voltage is equal to 24 volts DC and whose R is equal to 10 ohms. If we treat this circuit as a purely resistive one and solve for the current by dividing 24 over 10, the answer will be the same as that of the steady state value. Therefore, it is really important to remember that for a series RL circuit with a DC voltage source, as time approaches to infinity, the inductor will act as a short circuit during the steady state period. For letter B, using the same current equation at time equal to 0.03 second, the value of the current should be around 0.6 ampere. Letter C, the time it requires for the current to reach 1 ampere is equivalent to 0.054 second. To calculate the voltage across R and L at any time t, the voltage across the resistor is given by the formula current times the resistance. With the current equal to 2.4 quantity 1 minus exponential negative 10 t, whose resistance is equal to 10, the voltage across the resistor at any time t is equal to 
24 quantity 1 minus exponential negative 20 volts. And last but not the least, to solve for the voltage across the inductor, the formula suggests that we need to take the first derivative of the current with respect to time, whose result is 24 exponential negative 20. After this, we can finally go back to the formula and substitute the values. Thus, our final answer is 24 exponential negative 20 volts. Now we have a series RC circuit. To be able to find the current equation of a series RC circuit with a DC voltage source by KVL, our equation is supply voltage V equals the sum of the voltage drops across the resistor and the capacitor. Expressing these voltage drops as a function of time, we know that VR is equal to IR and the voltage across the capacitor is given by the formula 1 over C integral I dt. Our equation will become V equals IR plus 1 over C integral I dt. After we rewrite this equation, if we are going to differentiate the current I with respect to time, it will lead us to a more simple equation in the form of R di over dt plus I over C equivalent to 0. And from this linear differential equation of the first order, we can find the particular solution of the current, which is equal to V over R exponential negative t over rc whose initial condition is given by the voltage supply v over the resistance r since at that particular moment the capacitor is acting as a short circuit this current equation whose graphical representation is given by this is applicable to any rc circuit with the capacitor having no initial charge the time constant of a series rc circuit is the time when the capacitor is charged to 63.2% of its steady state value and it is given by the formula R times C. For example, a series RC circuit is impressed with 12 volts DC. If the resistance is equal to 10 ohms and the capacitance is equal to 0.001 farad, assume no initial current at the conductor, determine letter A, the current at any time t, for letter B, Calculate the current at time equal to 0.5 second and for letter C, calculate the time when the current is equal to 0.75 ampere. Now for letter A, substitute the given values into our current equation so that we have 12 over 10, exponential negative t over 10 times 0 0.001. Our final answer will just be equal to 1.2 exponential negative 100 t amperes. This equation is approximately represented by this graph. Now with this, we can see that as time increases, the current behaves in a declining fashion. The reason for this is that if you have a series RC circuit with a DC voltage source, once the switch is closed, eventually the capacitor will open. And at that particular moment, the current has already decayed to zero. Letter B, we want to calculate the value of the current at time equal to 0.5 second. And the answer is 2.31 times 10 to the negative 22. Practically speaking, this is already equivalent to 0 ampere. Letter C, we want to calculate the time when current is equal to 0 0.75 ampere. And from the same equation, we can find the value of time equal to 4.7 millisecond. 